little extra money for the holidays, we're going to show you how some things that you have can be more sellable and also talk about what's hot in interior design right now. Kat Torello is here from Torello Painting. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks for being here. You were saying that some of the things that you brought are the things to put in your house right now. Yep. Um, what's hot right now is all kinds of natural fibers. This is a pussy willow wreath that's made locally. And um, here's another vase that's made out of wood. I think this is burl wood. Is that oh, what that is? that is? Yeah. That's amazing. Pretty much anything natural. Green is really hot. Well, I'm, you were talking about the pussy willow. I love this because this can last you for months throughout. You know what I mean? You could put this on your door or somewhere in your house, and this goes through you know, several yeah. seasons. So you it think? does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then also what's really hot is... Um, Pretty much mountain rustic, which they call kind of mountain edge now, which means you're using clean lines, but you're going for that serene feel, is nationwide really hot. Like what? What's is there something again? up here? Like mountain here. edge? Mountain like edge? This, oh, I like see. This, this uh, lamp here, which is um, featured in El Decor. Um, just kind of more contemporary things with the rustic mountains. So is this just a piece of wood spray painted? Yep. Really? Yeah. How wonderful. And then you put this fun shade and then on the top. just attach the shade onto the, yeah. onto the wood. So it's definitely got a rustic feel, but it is more updated and contemporary. Yeah. Okay. What about shabby chic? Exactly. People are still doing that. That's still, still doing hot. that. Yep. Which is great for kind of doing our whole consignment thing where you're taking an old piece and then you're going to, you know, do how we did on the last couple of shows of painting things and antiquing them, distressing them. Things that you find at garage sales. Is this or something that's house. been done? This this, this over is here? actually a new piece, but okay. it's the same kind of look where you're just taking something old, painting it. This piece right here it. with the candle on it. Yeah, so this stuff's from the local consignment stores, and then these are art like one of a kind, artisan made pieces. Okay, now if I'm at a consignment store, what should I be looking for? What's Any a great find? Well, I say whatever strikes you, you All know. Right. And I guess that's what's so cool about consignment stores is it's real eclectic mix of things. So you can add, you know, your own warmth and harmony to your own house with kind of new and old mixed together. You know, just kind of anything that really strikes you that you like, not worrying about so much if it goes with everything per se, but, you know, like this lamp or something, like it's just a fun piece that's going to add just some interest to your house. I think that's good interior design advice, to find things that you love and put them together rather than trying to have an exact certain style in your home. Yeah. Okay, right. so what do we do to things that we have that can make them more sellable consignment wise well there's kind of two ways you can go about it one is you can find pieces at the consignment store which are about half price re to what the regular retail would be and then take it home and do your thing to it which would be you know generally a lot of painting things and adding new knobs and crystal knobs are fun or you can find stuff at home or in the garage sales that are solidly made pieces with like real wood no veneer and then go ahead and then paint them and then antique them and you know do however you want because everything is so eclectic in the consignment stores you can you know kind of do green with black on top and kind of antiquing pieces you know to kind of look like you know this table this is an artisan made table but you know just going ahead with the antiquing and um, well look how much the the green adds to this table because you know obviously it's green in the middle and it looks sort of antiqued and it adds so much, this table's not just a regular table anymore. Yeah, and that's what you can do with your own pieces. Then you take them to the consignment stores. Um, three that have donated the stuff today. Um, one is uh, Home Bodies in Tooele, and then Right at Home up in Park City and in Sugar House, and Home Again in Sugar House. And um, you can contact them and talk to them about what it is you want to sell and make sure that you know that's a good spot for your piece. And you'll, you'll receive 50 to 70% of the price that it sells. So you really can make money. Now, do different spots like different things? Like in Park City, could you sell something that you could in Salt Lake City? Um, it's best to probably check with them because there once I was trying to sell a white bed and Salt Lake, Park City said, bring it to Salt Lake. They said white would go better in Salt Lake. So, but black sells, hands down. Mm -hmm. If you want, want to make money, just you know, buy a solidly made piece from a garage sale that's all wood. You know drawers that slide, you know, something that you yourself would be interested in, you know, don't waste your time on anything, you know, that's not very good quality made. 
and then um, turn it into a treasure. Turn it into a treasure and make some money. Kat, if people want to contact you, how do they do that? Because Kat does lots of wonderful things your, to furniture, to your walls. I mean, she's been on the show doing lots of amazing things. And if you're thinking, I need her to do something, how do people contact you? Um, this is my phone number up here and my website. You can look at uh, lots of old pictures of furniture that I've done and get ideas is torellopainting.com. All right, 435-513-1975. We'll put all, all of her information on our website. Kat, thank you for Thanks being so here. Much. Good this ideas for the holidays, all too. Right. Up next, everybody, speaking of the holidays, how you can send a deserving family to the North Pole. We'll be right back.